back to Cebu. We've been traveling for two and a half months now. I have decided that it's time finally for me to go to Baba. We are on Cebu Island, currently staying in Moalboa, the place mostly known for the canoeing, which we are taking in two days. Today we rented a scooter for 300 pesos, which is a really, really good price, because normally they charge you 500 and we've decided to take a tour around the island so right now we are 30 kilometers from the city in a place with a very nice french name it's called montpellier waterfall it's not very touristic we read on a blog that only a few people come here a day and we just met two girls from poland on the way and they told us that it's very beautiful On the entrance to the waterfall there was a registration and we had to pay a fee so we asked them how much should we pay and they told us it depends on you how much you want to pay you will pay so guys when you are coming here it's all up to you The waterfall is super nice. There are no other tourists here, not even one, just Magda and me. Right now there's nobody swimming, but we have some local people here. They're having some lunch right now and they are very friendly. They ask us if we want to join them. We did refuse because we just ate, but very nice of them. The water is refreshing. This place is the best place we have seen on Cebu so far. It's amazing. This was so far the best waterfall we have seen in the Philippines. It's one of the best waterfalls I have seen in my entire life. The best thing about it is that there are no other people, like no other tourists at all. And you can't even find this one on Google Maps. Right now we are heading to another one. It's called Tao Waterfall. The entrance fee was 60 pesos a person, 20 pesos parking fee. And they kind of forced us to take a guide. They told us that there's no fee for him. It's all based on tips. But I have no idea how much to give him, especially that on the way he didn't even say a word just nodded his head at the beginning and just went without saying a single word I don't know <laughs> I'm not exactly sure why they call him a guide especially that the road to the waterfall it's easy and it's impossible to get lost I think they're just trying to 
find a way for local people to earn money which is okay I'm okay with that but he could at least struggle and tell us something about the place that would be nice We are on our way to the Osmana Peak. I'm probably not pronouncing it properly. The walk from the parking lot is like more or less 20 minutes and we are almost there. We had to pay parking fee again. And again they told us that we can pay as much as we want. So there's no fixed price at all. Depends on you. When you are visiting Cebu, make sure to see both waterfalls as for sure you will have lots of fun there as we did. We have heard about one more waterfall, we haven't seen it yet but we will and I'm sure we are gonna talk about it in the next video. In this video we also talked about the Osmina Peak which is a great place to enjoy the sunset and sunrise of course if there is a good weather. Anyways, that's it for today. If you enjoyed, make sure to give us the thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you haven't done that yet, so you don't miss any of the next videos.